Hey everybody, Christian here with Stripmeister. Today we're gonna to do a quick video, show you guys how to set up your E1000. This is the first machine that has two wire guides and it can take wires up to 1000 MCM. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right guys, gonna start out with some nice small 14 gauge wire. So the first step is to take a small clipping just to set your machine up. Next what you wanna do is find the smallest available hole that doesn't have any resistance. And then you touch your knife off. Now that your knife is touched off, you can get your wire guide set to the correct position. What you wanna do is have a 15 degree angle going in. Next, put a little bit of pressure on top and tighten it down. What this does is it holds tension on the cable as you're stripping, which prevents it from slipping out of the track. The last step is to get your knife height set correctly. So what you do is you run your machine slowly and you keep bringing your knife down until you start to see copper. Now since you have this flap at the back, you can't see exactly what's going on, but once you see copper, you know your machine is set correct. Now we can start stripping. As we know, scrap copper rarely looks like nice, fresh cable off of a spool. Normally, it looks more like a tangled mess. But with the Stripmeister, it doesn't matter. It will take your cables and strip them just the same as any other cable, just like that. Now, with small gauge cables, one of the hardest parts is actually to get the copper out of the casing. So what I like to do is strip it as if I was gonna terminate it. And this allows me to easily grab the copper and pull it out of the casing, just like that. All right, guys, now we're on to the big stuff, 500 MCM cable. When you're stripping cables this large, these holes on the bottom wire guide just won't cut it. So what you do is bring it to the very bottom and tighten it up down there. Now you can touch your knife off and bring the upper wire guide down. You still wanna try and maintain that 15 degree angle, so get a little bit of pressure and tighten it down. Now we get our final knife height, run the machine, and bring the knife down until you start to see copper. Yeah, just like that. Now our machine is set and we can start stripping. Sometimes it can also be hard to get the insulation off of cable this large, but it looks really good. All right, guys, that's it. I hope this video helped you avoid some of the common mistakes made when stripping copper wire. If you follow all these steps, I guarantee you will have success every time. You'll save time and you'll save money. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. And as we say, happy stripping.